Okay, a first look at the eSky ES2, Mini ES2. It's a brushless beginner FPV plane. And it's a 750 millimeter wingspan. It's got kind of a unique tail on it. If you notice the, the, uh, the T-mounted horizontal stabilizer, it also serves as the elevator. There's no... There's no moving control surface on the horizontal stabilizer. The entire um, horizontal stabilizer moves up and down and works as the elevator. It's got a good size, very good size rudder on it, a steerable tail wheel. All right, and let's see, it comes with a 2S, um, 650 milliamp hour, and I believe that is a 20C LiPo. The, uh, the specified CG is on the forward wing spar, and if I put this battery all the way forward, you know, to where, uh, you know, the edges of the battery meet the inside um, sides of the, of the fuselage, the battery compartment, that gives me a neutral balance on that forward part of the, the forward wing spar on the main wing. So that is where I am going to have it when I take it out and fly it for the first time. The battery has a JST connector on it. And uh, let me give you the specs on this and everything that it comes with. It comes with this manual. It's a pretty decent manual. It tells you how to assemble everything. It comes with this little uh, Phillips head jeweler's screwdriver. It comes with a 2S uh, balance charger uh, for a USB port. The uh, it comes with an Allen wrench. This is what you'll use to secure your prop onto the motor shaft. And the the prop is a four inch prop, and it is one inch pitch, so it is a very very little pitch, and it is a very flexible prop. But it's a high KV motor, and uh, I it comes with a spare prop. I've already got the prop mounted on it, so. So let me read you the specs here. This is a binding fly. It does not come with a transmitter. So I've already bound up to it with a TX-16S. Uh, I got everything working. It's kind of strange getting this set up and having it working right in both modes. Um, Alishan Mao posted a, a video on how he got it set up in Edge TX. I think it was on... Uh, Maybe a Radio Master Boxer transmitter. I can't remember what transmitter he was using, but that you know, watching that saved me a lot of time. And so I'll have a link to that in the show notes. His video of how he got everything set up. The um, the flight mode is on channel five for six G three D. Um, the channel six is for arming and disarming the motor. And on mine, I noticed that as soon as I move the control surfaces and I, and I have the motor armed, the motor starts up like an idle. It does not shut all the way down unless you, dis, unless you disarm the motor. And when you're, when you're flying around, if you give it rudder, it also mixes in some aileron and mixes in some elevator. And then it also increases the speed of the motor automatically when you're inputting rudder. So that's pretty nice for a beginner plane. That way you're not having to worry about the plane losing altitude. You're not having to worry about increasing and decreasing the throttle in a turn. It does it for you. Now I've never, I don't think I've ever flown a plane that did that. So we'll have to see how well that works uh, when I take it out for the maiden flight. Channel 8, um, I, I use Channel 8 to disable all of that mixing when you put it into 3d mode because when you when you the first time that i put it in 3d mode and and the mixing was just the mixing was crazy in 3d mode when i inputted aileron to the left i got positive elevator and when i input aileron to the right i got negative elevator and it was pretty it was a pretty dramatic amount of elevator so uh what i what I found watching Alishan Mao's uh, video for setting that up, and he said it took him about an hour to get this figured out. So it did save me a lot of time. But I set up whatever switch that you set up for your 6G and 3D mode. 
When I flip my switch into 3D mode, I also set up a global function on channel 8 so that when I, when I uh, put the gyro from uh, 6G mode to 3D mode, it also inputs a value on channel 8 of plus 100, and that disables that really strange mixing that they had in the 3D mode. I assume that, the, you know, on the Reddative Y version, I assume that the eSky transmitter does that automatically. So um, that's something you need to be aware of. If you're going to switch it out of 6G mode into 3D mode, you are definitely going to want to do that on channel 8. All right, so it's made out of EPO foam. It's 750 millimeter wingspan. It's a very light plane for that size wingspan. So the dimensions, uh, length is 620 uh, millimeters and the height is 172 millimeters in height. They have the um, all-up weight, you know, the flying weight, including the 2S LiPo at uh, 221 grams. That's just about spot on. I put the battery in this, put it on my digital scale, and it came out to 218. So I was 3 grams under. And that's probably just variation in the, in the LiPo, a little variation from airframe to airframe. But very, very close. The thrust-to-weight ratio it says it's just 0.7. So just 0.7 to 1. So this is definitely designed to be an FPV trainer and cruiser. It's not made for aerobatics, but we'll definitely test it out with, with you know, see what we can do with it with aerobatics. The motor is a 1604 4780. It's pretty high KV for a 2S LiPo. 1604, and I took a slide rule and I measured the outside of the bell. The outside of the bell is 21.5 millimeters. It looks like the height of the magnets is, you know, between four to five millimeters in height. So I would say that they, uh, that the diameter of the stator is 16 millimeters. It looks like the height of the magnets is four millimeters. So they didn't cheat on those measurements. It looks like it, it is an actual 1604 brushless motor. It's got a different kind of shaft on it. I, I, I took a look at the shaft. When you, when you put your prop on, be aware that the prop, the inside of the prop hub has two flat sides and two round sides. And the, the shaft is exactly the same way. So you need to get that prop lined up, the flat, the flat sides of the hub on the prop lined up with the flat sides of the motor shaft. Don't try to force it. Okay, and then it's got, and then it has a little retaining, a single retaining screw back here for a threaded center shaft on the motor. And the, the fact that the shaft has flat sides and that the prop hub has flat sides prevents that prop from rotating, you know, spinning on that shaft with just that single retaining screw. So be aware of that. Um, it says it has a 15 amp speed controller with a three amp back. It doesn't say the voltage of the back. I assume the back is five volt, three amp. Uh, I also assume it's a linear back, not a switching back, but a 15 amp. So it's got a nice size ESC uh, built into it. One eight gram digital servo that they have for the ailerons, two 4.3 gram digital servos, one for the elevator, one for the rudder. So it's nice that they put digital servos on this plane rather than analog. So they should be able to hold their center positions pretty well. And digital servos typically have more torque than analog servos. So good on both fronts. As I stated, they have two flight modes. The first one is 6G, which is the learner mode. It's a low rate. It has auto stabilization, which auto leveling. And then you have the sport mode, high mode, which is the 3D mode, where it's a three axis gyro. And normally what I see from three axis gyros is they just do wind mitigation. Uh, I don't think it's gonna self level the plane and that should enable you to do some aerobatics if it proves to have enough power to do aerobatics, but we'll have to see. All right, so um, that is a first look at this plane. Stay tuned, I'll be taking it out for um, for my uh, maiden flight, uh, test flight of this plane, I did test the fail safe on it. The motor did shut down when, when I shut the transmitter off, but the control surfaces did not go back to neutral. So at least if, if, you, if you run it out of range, at least you know you're not going to have a flyaway. The motor is going to shut down once, once the signal is lost. So that's good. That's the most important thing is that the motor is going to shut down. Anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. 
and I will see you in the air.